Let's just talk about marriage, bruh. And I want to start with Larissa Pippen. How she finessed Scottie Pippen, bruh. Larissa Pippen has been awarded half a Scottie Pippen retirement trust fund, right? And she has his last name. And she's also dating Michael Jordan's son. You know what I'm saying? Getting back at them. But the courts don't care about that. They don't care about who she's dating. And they just go by the law. And the law says if you if you marry a woman, if you don't have no prenup, and y'all get divorced, that that woman can take everything from you. The way that America government has the marriage set up, it makes you don't want to get married. It makes you don't even want to get married. It's why get married to a woman when all when when you divorce, they taking half of what you earn. They don't take half of what they earn. They take half of what you earn. So whoever has the most, the other person gets half of what you earn, which is not right. And it makes you don't even want to get married. It's like my girl. My girl, she wanted to get married. She wants to get married, right? I ain't gonna say wanted. She wants to get married. And I'm telling her, I'm like, why do we need to put the people in our life, make it difficult, and I got all these other things going on. Say, say I'm on child support, right? If we get married, that means my child support becomes your child support. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, why would you want to put yourself through that? Why would a woman want to marry a guy that's on child support and that's going to put on child support? You feel what I'm saying? So it's like marriage is it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing when it comes to how America has all these rules and laws set up for men to fail. These laws are set up because mostly men are providers for women. So the man is always probably going to make more money than a woman. Because the man provides for a woman. So if a man, if it's in the Bible that a man provides for a woman, how can we win? How can we win in the Bible and say we're supposed to provide for our woman and we provide and when we break up, she takes everything that I provided for her with. That is not right. The court system, the, the government, how they had this set up, it makes, it, it makes you don't want to get married. They did a study from, 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 from 25 to 39 years old, people, it, a lot of people are getting a divorce from that age, from 25 to 39. So what that tells me is they're getting divorced early. They, they realize that it's not going to work, right? Within one year, when you first meet somebody, within like that first six months or a year, you all in love. You're going on dates. Can, can you, she can't do no wrong. He can't do no wrong. And then you get married. And then once y'all start living together, you realize that this person ain't, the last, the last six months, seven months, this person ain't doing the stuff he used to do. They ain't laughing the way, they ain't laughing at my jokes no more like that. Oh she, oh, she ain't cooking like she used to cook. Oh, he ain't taking me out how he used to take me out. You know what I'm saying? So that, that becomes, over time, you realize you don't really like this person because y'all jumped into a relationship so fast. So... Say you've been with somebody for three, four years. You, 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 people that's been together for four, five years typically are not finna marry right off no more. Like that first, if you not, if a guy don't marry you that first year or two, you probably not finna get married until probably about 10 years later. Because that guy's gonna prolong, 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 prolong until you're like, you know what, man, this girl been down there eight, nine, let me go ahead and marry this chick. Cause she been, she been down. You know what I'm saying? A guy is not finna marry a girl between after that second year, between th that year three, four, five, six, y'all just y'all y'all just go together. Y'all married, but y'all 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 not legally married, but y'all you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's no she not gonna be bringing it up no more. She all that I want to get married, I want to get married, I want to get married. All that's gonna drop. Uh, you're not gonna hear all that. You're not gonna hear that no more at all. You know what I'm saying? And um and that's just my opinion. On, on, on these studies I've been reading and different different things I've been reading and it just gave me this conclusion of what I'm talking about. So I ain't just talking about nothing. I'm just I'm talking about what I done read and, and studies. So you have you have a lot of these actors, a lot of these celebrities um, that's that's getting married and getting divorced and 
the wife is getting everything. She's getting half of this. She's getting half of that, you know, and it's crazy how a judge, you can go to court and a judge just award another person half of what you just, just give just because that person was with you. That don't mean nothing. That person was with me. I was doing the same thing without her. I would have did the same. You got to think about it. You got to ask yourself, would this guy would have did the same thing even when, if, even if he wasn't with her? Yes, yes, a woman, a woman brings you security. Yes, a woman helps you. A woman, that's what she's supposed to do. You want to get rewarded for that? You want to take half of what I got, half of what I need, and then they play the game so cold that if they got kids, they'll try to take the kids away from it. They want all, they want, they want all the power. The women want all the power. They want to take the kids away from you, and they want to take your money. And they just want you to be miserable. That's how the way. That's the way marriage set up. Marriage is set up for man to fail. So why would we want to get married? It ain't like we don't want to get married. We men do really want to get married. But all this information that we got now, see, we ain't have a lot of all this information in a, in a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Now that we got this this social media stuff that's giving us game, is putting it in our face. It's like, why get married? Even with a prenup, it's loopholes around a prenup for you still can get burned. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's like, bro, like, it's, it's marriage is set up. You, you say, okay, you get married. You're supposed to stay together forever. But let's just be logical. Nobody stays together forever. Like, it, that's, that's, that's fairy tale. This is the real world. This is the real world right here. Yeah, of course you want you say you want to get married. Oh, we're going to stay together forever. But that's probably not going to happen. It's a it's a big possibility that we don't stay together forever. And you really got to if you if you a couple and you and you sitting up there saying, oh, we're gonna be together forever, baby. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna break us up. Either. We gonna like y'all delusional. Y'all really delusional to think that y'all gonna stay together forever. It sounds cute. It sounds good. It's you post I guess you supposed to say that. I guess. <laughs> man, man, man. But this marriage stuff, bro. Fellas, how y'all feel about that, man? Because it's hard, bro, to, to to marry somebody. And then you ask, you ask a woman for a prenup. She don't want to sign it. She like, why? If, what's the sense of us signing a prenup and we're going to be together, Phil? We're going to stay together for the rest of our life. Feel what I'm saying? Like, that's the first thing they coming with. And you a sucker for love. You love this girl. Like, man, I love this girl, man. I'm a, you know, I'ma just go ahead and do this for her, man. I ain't, you know, I'm just, we gonna be together. You know what I'm saying? And there you go. You signing your life away. Signing your life away to this woman. Now she got all the power over you. That's all she wanted. She just wanted the power of the relationship. Now she got the power. Now she walking you like a dog. Do this. Do that. Go over here. Do that. She ain't tripping. Cause she 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 set up. The only you the you set up to lose. Not her. She set up the win. In her mind, she gonna walk away with the kids and she gonna walk away with all your money and she gonna get alimony. She's straight. You over there, you gotta work for her. You gotta fight to see your kids. It's crazy, bro. The world we live in, man, that's crazy, bro. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen, man, but I just know that these laws gotta change. That's the only thing, that, that's, the only thing that's gonna ain't, don't probably put the marriage back in, you know, perspective place. Cause marriage ain't supposed. When God said you supposed to be married and all that, he he ain't he ain't put all this other stuff in there about she take half of your check and she take. You know what I'm saying? Like God ain't said all that. Like y'all doing too much. Y'all putting too much in this marriage stuff, man. God, it's so it's supposed to be sacred. It's supposed to be. It ain't supposed to be all that. When a woman leaves, she taking the kids. She taking all that. You granting her all like, bro. We doing too much over here, bro. He's doing too much. We fighting between ourselves. That's why it's so much beef between baby mamas and baby daddies and, and wives and husbands because it be a fight over legal issues. That's 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 what the government got us doing, man. The government got us fighting fighting each other. Like it's crazy, bro. I don't know, man. Y'all gotta hit that comment section up and let me know, bro. Let me know. Am I tripping or am I? I I'm, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. But I just had it on my heart. I had it on my chest. I had it on my head. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get it out. But you know, this ain't no, this ain't no, this ain't no disrespect to the women or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just, this is just somehow I feel. Now, I might, maybe I need a woman's perspective on this, and maybe I do. 
but I thought I was fair, and I thought I, you know, that's just from a man's perspective. That just that's how the government got it. It got it set up for y'all to win. If you disagree with that, then hey, I mean, you just one of those feminist women that just like to go against men. I guess. So, um, you made it this far, man. Y'all hit that comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about marriage, bro. Larissa pimping out here, pimping, pimping, pimping. You know what I'm saying? You got all these breakups and all these divorces and stuff, man. It's crazy, man. What's going on? Let me know in the comment section, bro.